Welcome everyone to Marvel Hub. This is DK Dynamite for a brief video here tonight going over a Instagram post from Ryan Reynolds. And in this post, he officially wrote the specific caption, investigation heading into year five, or as I call it, phase five. The point is, I love conspiracy yarn. So this is a reference to how five years ago, some Deadpool footage was leaked online, which then led to the movie being greenlit and obviously led to the official release of the first Deadpool movie. But I think when you take a look at the caption in this post, the way he says phase five almost screams the fact that mutants, Deadpool, Fantastic Four, all of those projects will be featured in the phase five slate of the MCU. So it's definitely worth mentioning because I think even Kevin Feige himself hinted at the fact that the Phase 4 slate is complete and anything else that was confirmed beyond that slate will be a Phase 5 project, including the next Avengers movie, uh, Fantastic Four, Blade, Mutants, uh, Captain Marvel 2, Black Panther 2, all the other projects that we're expecting or we were expecting for Phase 4 are going to end up being for Phase 5. So Phase 4 is kind of a break from the big culmination, crossovers, team-ups, massive villains, massive threats. Phase 4 is kind of a break from all that, kind of introducing us to some newer characters and also finishing off some threads for characters like Doctor Strange, Thor, introducing us to these Disney Plus series. So I think it is the right move to kind of wait when it comes to mutants, Deadpool, Fantastic Four. Wait until Phase 5 for you to jump into that because I think Phase 5 will probably be the phase to start setting up the next big bad or maybe the next big bad for the street-level heroes maybe even the next big bad for the cosmic level heroes. So they're probably going to do a split between uh, cosmic level threats and then street level threats. So you have two different teams of Avengers or Guardians facing off against these different threats throughout the future of the MCU. Instead of setting up this next big Thanos, which has everybody in the MCU teaming up, I think they're going to take it a little bit differently this time with the next few phases. But Again, this Instagram post could really just mean that it is the fifth year anniversary of when Deadpool footage was leaked. Obviously, he's a big fan of Deadpool. He's really excited to reprise the role now that he's part of the MCU. But I do think it's also screaming the fact that Phase 5 is when we'll be seeing Deadpool appear within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But in terms of how he'll be introduced, once again, we have no idea how that'll work. But there were previous rumors that he'll either have a Deadpool 3, a Disney Plus series, or an appearance in a future Spider-Man solo film, which I think either one would work and obviously I think we are going to see a Deadpool 3 at some point. I know the creator or the writer of Deadpool, Hammer, which one, had confirmed that Deadpool 3 is inevitable and will be coming very soon so I think we'll definitely see him pop up like in the form of a cameo appearance in a bunch of future Marvel projects but we'll definitely still have solo movies coming along the way and it's unknown as to whether or not Disney is still down to do R-rated pictures with uh, Deadpool as a character continue what Fox essentially started with these R-rated movies. So let me know you think of all that down below in the comment section. This has been DK Dynamite. Do you guys think this is a hint towards Deadpool appearing in Phase 5 or is it just poking some fun at the fact that five years ago is when some Deadpool footage was leaked, allowing for his projects and movies to be greenlit over at Fox? That's about it. Turn notifications on to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Marvel news and information and peace out, everyone. Uh, it is the complete Phase 4, the way I announced the complete Phase 3 five years ago. Things can move, things can change as they did if you go back and look at what we talked about five years ago for phase three. But we've been working on this for quite a while and it's pretty set, but there are always, there are always uh, uh, changes possible. So is Blade in phase four? No. Have you guys thought about, like, do you know what the next Avengers team looks like? Yes. And it will be, it will be uh, a very different team than we've seen before. That's yeah. what Endgame was all about. Yeah. It will be a very different incarnation of the team with some people you've already met and some people you haven't met. Does Phase 4 start to plant the seeds for whatever we're going to see? Because we obviously saw Thanos, the whole Infinity Saga, the seeds were planted way early on. Uh, yes. We debated what we should announce today. Should we announce 4 and 5? We've planned them out. We've got five years down the road. And I was like, I think you, yeah. 11 projects in two years is plenty. Are you guys not looking to go the route of a traditional X-Men titled uh, movie for those uh, characters? I was, uh, mutants and X-Men are interchangeable. I just said, I just said mutants. Um, but yes, whatever we do will be quite different than what's been done before.